Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to animate and format numbers in After Effects using Num. Num is a free After Effects preset. There's also Num Pro, which unlocks a few extra features. I'll be going over all the features in this video. So inside this comp, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the Num Pro preset. Now I'll be highlighting which features are part of Num and which parts are part of the paid version. So if I double click this, it's going to create a new text layer. I could also apply this to an existing text layer and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this layer Num. Now here in the effect controls, I can change everything about this number. So I can move this slider and that will change the actual number itself. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple keyframes. I'm gonna start with one and I'm gonna go forward a bit, and I'm gonna change this to 1 million. So one thing that num does is it automatically adds the thousand separators. So by default, it is set to comma. You can change this to none, and that will eliminate the commas. Or you can change it to a period, underscore, or a space. Next, the decimal places. So by default, this is set to zero. But if we change this to two, now we'll get two decimals at the end of this. And then we can customize the decimal separator as well. So by default, this is set to a period, but you can change this to a comma, underscore, or a space. I'll go ahead and leave this as a period. Next, we have the symbol. So we can add a dollar sign that will add a dollar sign to the beginning, or a percentage, which will add it to the end. Or we could add a custom leading, which it's not gonna do anything unless you have text in here. So if I double click this, I'm just gonna hit an X, and you can see that this is going uh, before the number because it's set to custom leading. Now, if I want it at the end, I could change this to custom trailing. And again, if I just uh, highlight this text, I could change this to whatever I want. I'll go ahead and change this back to none. Financial, uh, that's gonna change the way it handles negative numbers. So let's just change this to negative 1 million real quick. By default, that's just gonna add a minus symbol here. But if you check financial, that's going to just wrap the number in parentheses. And then finally, this fixed digits. I'm gonna, to show this off, I'm gonna just change the decimals back to zero, and I'm gonna get rid of the commas. So let's say we're animating like a password or something, and it had a set amount of digits. So in this case, there's seven digits. So you could change this to seven, and it'll stay locked at seven the whole time. All right, so those are all the features of Num. Now, big numbers and monospace, these come with the Num Pro version. So first, big numbers. If you toggle on this abbreviations checkbox, it's going to abbreviate the number once it gets past 10,000. So it'll add a K, an M, or a B for billion, or a T for trillion. Then this abbreviation decimals, that's gonna set how many decimals how many decimal places it's displaying when it's using the abbreviation. So by default, it's set to one, but we could change this to two or whatever number. You could also change it to zero and get rid of the decimals altogether. Now this works independently of the decimal places here. So if this was set to two, once we start using those abbreviations, those decimals are gonna go uh, away completely and you could have uh, whatever decimals you want here. Now the last part of the big numbers section is the power of 10 slider. And to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna create a duplicate of my number. And so this original is just animating the number itself. And it's just going from one to one million, but it's doing it linearly. So up here, I'm gonna delete these keyframes. And this number is just gonna stay fixed at one. And instead of animating that, value, I'm going to animate the power of 10. So I'm going to add a keyframe here and I'll hit U to pull it up on my timeline and I'll go over here. And what this power of 10 does is essentially just adds a zero to the end of your number. It multiplies number by 10 to the power of whatever you set this to. So if I say one, it's going to change it to 10, two will make it a hundred. And we want to make this all the way up to a million. So I'm just going to change this to six. Now if I go and play this back, you can see that even though both of these are going from one to a million, they're getting there a lot differently. So this is going exponentially 
And if I go back to this first frame, you can see that the original is going to jump up to four digits immediately, whereas the one that's animating the power of 10 is much more exponential. And I think in a lot of instances, this is gonna make for a better animation and be a little easier to track with, especially when you're dealing with really large numbers. All right, the last feature I'm gonna show is the monospace feature. And so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and we'll be applying it to this layer. Now I've been using a monospace font for all this. And so what monospace means is that each character takes up the same amount of width. And so you can see this comma isn't wiggling too much or anything. But if I were to change this to a non monospace font, I'm gonna use Brandon Grotesque Bold. The whole number starts to get really wiggly. And if you pay attention to the comma especially, you can just see how much movement is going on. So what this monospace toggle allows you to do is make any font monospace. So I'm gonna duplicate this. So again, we can see the difference. And here I'm gonna check on monospace. Now that's gonna smush my numbers together too close. So I can change this spacing. And now I think that's looking pretty good. Now if I play this back, you can see the difference and this will be a much smoother number. Again, that comma is staying fixed in the right spot. Each digit is staying fixed in the right spot and it's a much smoother animation. One thing to note is that whenever you use the monospace feature, you just wanna make sure that the paragraph alignment is set to centered and then you can change the actual alignment here. So right now this is set to centered but I could change this to left, but I would wanna do it from here. And again, that would make the number grow from the left, or I could do right, which would do the opposite. You just wanna make sure that you're setting the paragraph alignment to center. If it was set to left align, it's gonna just not be straight and right align, same thing. So centered actually keeps it straight and then you can change the alignment here. That is Num and Num Pro. I hope you find this tool super useful. And if you like this kind of content, like the video, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. Until next time, take care.